speaker for the night. Uh, he writes a monthly column for the Ann Arbor Chronicle and is the author of Snip, Burn, Solder Shred, Seriously Geeky Stuff to Make with Your Kids. Uh, the following project is not featured in that book. Leave it at Over the course of the next five minutes, I'm going to teach you how to make your own booze without catching fire, blowing up, going blind, or being prosecuted under the law. <laughs> the booze I want to teach you how to make is limoncello. This is a sweet, fairly potent, very lemony liqueur popular in southern Italy. I love teaching people to make limoncello for two reasons. First and foremost, it is cheap and easy. If you follow these instructions, which are not odious, you're going to have good results. <coughs> Second, those results are disproportionate. People are thrilled to receive a bottle of limoncello during our gloomy holiday season. Um, so what's going on with liquor is that you're using a food-grade solvent to pull flavors and essential oils out of plants, and then you're mixing it with a diluent so it's less toxic and more tasty. Um, when we're making limoncello, we're going to use high-proof alcohol as our solvent, lemon zest are our botanicals, and we're going to mix up a simple syrup to serve as our diluent. Um, so, let's get started. You're going to head down to Stadium Liquor at Stadium and Packard and get 1.5 <laughs> liters of my favorite food-grade solvent, Everclear 151. <laughs> Everclear 151 is 75.5% alcohol by volume. That's a higher alcohol content than rubbing alcohol. You need something that's at least 50% alcohol by volume or 100 proof to get a good extraction. 75 is great because the less diluted it is, the fewer impurities have been introduced into the alcohol, which bring their own flavors. After you get your Everclear, you're going to head straight up Washington to Whole Foods. Why are we going to Whole Foods? Because you need to get 20 organic lemons. The flavoring in limoncello isn't from lemon juice, it's from the lemon zest. You're pulling the essential oil out of the peel. The peel is also where uh, the pesticides are going to collect. So unless you want to give your friends and neighbors poison the limoncello this holiday season, go organic. As long as you're at Whole Foods, you also want about three pounds of sugar. You're going to need it in like two weeks. So take your organic lemons, head home. Rinse off all the bug pee and stuff because they're organic. Um, you're going to cut off the edge of the lemon, and you're going to peel off just the zest. It's a paper-thin yellow layer. You're going to use a potato peeler to do this. The white part is the pit. It's bitter, and the lemons themselves save for some of the project. Once you have all of your zest prepared, you want to shove them in a big old glass jar. You want to go with glass because Everclear can also extract lead and zinc from some uh, metals depending on how they're finished. Those are poisonous. Um, depending on the ceramic glaze on your ceramic jar, that can also be poisonous. It can have heavy metals in it. Um, and I don't like using food grade plastics because they hold flavors. So shove your zest into your jar, pour in your Everclear, and you're going to want to let it sit for two weeks, someplace cool and dark. People get really lathered with this voodoo thing about putting it in a cool, dark place with these claims uh, that light or heat is going to do something to the flavor. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> what I do know and can verify um, is that jars of high-proof alcohol in direct sunlight can uh, cause fires and explode. <laughs> over an open flame and you knock 1.5 liters of 75.5% alcohol onto your floor, it is going to catch fire. <laughs> so you want to stash it someplace where you're not going to knock it over. While it's stashed for two weeks, you're going to go down and give it a nice shake once a day. This is going to agitate the fluid and it's going to improve your extraction so that over the course of two weeks, you're going to go from having a big jar of beautiful crystal clear Everclear with bright yellow zest in it to having a big jar of shockingly yellow fluid with bone white zombie skin looking zest in it. <laughs> At that point, you've extracted all the essential oil you're going to get. So you're going to take your jar, you're going to strain out your lemon peels. Pro tip, these are soaked in 75.5% alcohol. They burn really well, so throw them in the trash with some water or something. And then you're going to prepare your simple syrup. Simple syrup is equal parts sugar and water. If you want that much sugar to dissolve into water, you need to get it really hot. So get six cups of water to a rolling boil. Toss in your six cups of sugar, which is about three pounds. Stir it up till it all mixes. Then let it cool a little because sugar burns really suck. Um, <laughs> then you're going to mix your Everclear lemon extract and your diluent. And something cool is going to happen because that extract is clear, bright yellow. But as you pour in your diluent, you're going to bring down the alcohol level. That essential oil is going to want to precipitate out. Because you've been shaking it, it's going to want to bind with the sugar water instead of making its own little layer. And so you're going to get the Lucia effect. You're going to get this beautiful pearlescent yellow cloud forming in your jar that tastes so wonderful. 
And so once you've mixed all of your diluent and all of your extract, you're going to have about 80 proof, which is like vodka. Um, it is ready to bottle and stick a bow on and give us a gift this holiday season. You can go to this URL and get my whole recipe plus my hot lemonade recipe because you've got 20 freaking lemons with nothing else to do with them. <laughs> and I hope this gives you something to make this holiday season. I've been David Eric Nelson. I've taught you how to make booze in five minutes without going blind, catching fire, blowing up, being prosecuted under the law. I hope you all join us at the Afterglow, which is coincidentally at a bar where you're more than welcome to find me a beer.